Hey guys, this is Anil. In this video, we will create a simple inquiry form from which user can enter the inquiry details. Okay, so that details will be saved in SharePoint list. And here we have inquiry list in that we have two columns title and description. Okay, so user also can, uh, you know, we can also create a power apps form from here, create an app, but this will be a complete full flash uh, power apps application where user can have three forms edit update and delete and also search functionality but we want to only create the simple inquiry or detail form where user can only add a inquiry okay inquiry form we don't want other three forms okay so here we will go and we will add a edit form now from the connection i will add a sharepoint connection because we are adding our inquiry in sharepoint list okay so this is our inquiry list now this list i will connect with a uh, upper form and here i'll go with columns one and in the edit field i don't want this attachment field if you want user can just uh, use this attachment field as well but for demo purpose i'm going to create only Okay, so only two fields. All right. Now, here we have to put a button. Using that button, we want submit the data into SharePoint list. Submit data or submit inquiry, whatever you want. On select submit form, form one okay now we have to do one more thing from the insert i will go on new screen and here i will add a success screen okay so the screen is added here this is screen 2 okay so in the on success i will navigate to screen 2 so screen 2 is our success screen all right and if you will run it it will not go on new form you can see it's on display form but we want only the mode should be new form every time okay default mode should be new okay now if i will click on run and inquiry test one inquiry testing okay click on the submit data and here you can see this was completed successfully okay and if i will refresh it you can see the record has been inserted so this is simple inquiry form okay if you want you can just uh, change this message as well the inquiry was successful complete completely successful okay so whatever you want you can add your message so what we have learned in this video uh, we have created a simple inquiry form using that user can just add the inquiry details into the sharepoint list and the default mode was new form okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye